And now, a commentary from Mumia Abu-Jamal. Economy of Ashes. What we're seeing in the economy is something not seen in this country since the 1930s, the time of the Great Depression. If we think of the companies shedding jobs like trees shedding leaves, they're so numerous that it may prove easier to name companies that haven't, if we could find any. In January alone, some half a million workers got pink slips, and this economic crisis is global. Europe is locked in a financial vise, and big countries like England and France have announced ambitious stimulus packages. England has openly nationalized prominent banks facing default. Iceland has, for all intents and purposes, declared bankruptcy, with not just banks, but government itself falling. And while China, the site of the world's most robust economy, is still growing, its rate of growth has fallen so fast that some 20 million people, 20 million, have lost their jobs, a direct result of the U.S. economic recession. Over a year ago, American economist Nouriel Roubini, speaking at a meeting in Davos, Switzerland, said the U.S. economy looked like an emerging market. Roubini predicted the U.S. would enter a recession which would last at least a year. Added Rubini, the debate is not whether we're going to have a soft or hard landing. The question is only how hard the hard landing will be. A Chinese economist echoed that sentiment. Yu Yongding from the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences described the Chinese economy as at quite a delicate stage. The problem, he concluded, was a very bad situation in the U.S., Globalization was sold as the next best thing to the vaunted industrial age when Americans would live in the warm glow of the information age lit by computer screens and the rest of the world would do scut work. How's that working out? With the economy crumbling, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.